Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you how to create a wallpaper with the default image editing and painting application under Lubuntu 10.10 MT Paint. So first of all we will start MT Paint from the menu. Graphics, MT Paint, Graphics Editor. So this is the empty paint graphics editor and if you come from a GIMP or Photoshop background you will uh, definitely uh, find this uh, damn complicated to use and so I will show you some basic steps on how to create a wallpaper and uh, some somehow get you a feeling of how to edit with uh, empty paint and I hope you will enjoy this and then uh, can create some little uh, wallpapers with it. So the first thing that I will do is open up the view and I will blend in or start the layers window and now you have a more familiar I think uh, user interface so you have uh, the layers window here and it's much self-explaining you have one layer here the background layer that we currently have you can create new layers here you can move them uh, up to bottom you can duplicate a layer you can uh, delete it or close the window you can set a uh, name for the layer set the opacity and the position and the transparent color and one thing that's uh, very important so uh, we check this at the start is show all layers in main window otherwise it will only show the selected layer so if I would create a new layer here later on you will see uh, how this will work I, I think I will show you. So the first thing is uh, th that we will do is click on new here new image. We will set then a width and height so I set this t uh, to the my desktop default width and height and then I can select the colors uh, make sure that you have 24-bit RGB selected colors I will change them to 16 million so million has six numbers six uh, zeros of course and I click create uh, it won't fit into the window so I will uh, zoom out a little bit 50 percentage so this is very good now we have a back uh, black background this is not what I want I want to somehow have a gradient effect maybe a bluish uh, that will fit to Lubuntu Lubuntu's theme so first of all I will pick blue color here from the color palette and then you can see the gradient in the settings toolbar this is also very important you can see a blue to black um, gradient we will select the select the place gradient tool here this will allow us with our left mouse key to uh, press and hold and create a gradient you can see uh, the um, the angle uh, down here so make sure it is 180 or around 180 and then you have a straight line it will give you a short preview but this is only the preview so if you select then uh, the editing tool it's gone because it's only preview so we will move this up a little bit higher yeah, make sure 180 click this is only a preview if you want to actually draw the gradient because it's not drawn in here on the canvas you need to select uh, you go to the uh, settings toolbar click on this gradient mode this will select the gradient and now you need to uh, go to the flute fill and then click to fill in the gradient and, and you can see that this gradient looks a little bit different because uh, the um, in the gradient mode you only get a poor uh, poor preview of the actually looking gradient so this is a lot too bluish I think so I will undo this go to the gradient mode and we'll zoom out a little bit to make this line a little bit higher so that we have more black less a blue ah. so it's a little bit tricky to use and it took me quite a few minutes to figure out how to use this 
and to to activate the gradient mode <laughs> otherwise it won't work um, yeah this looks nice go back to 50 percentage here if you click then on gradient mode again it will go away so this is how you draw a gradient in empty paint so the next thing that I will do because I want to create a uh, wallpaper is uh, create a new layer here also with the widths and heights, uh, heights the same as my uh, background colors 16 million again click on create it's black don't worry it's because we uh, have added a new layer with uh, the black image all you have to do to make it transparent is go to um, channels edit alpha then select cleared here this will clear the um, uh, black background as you can see and then if you want to draw something on this um, layer go to channels edit image and now you can draw something on it so the first thing that I will draw is an uh, I want to create a little uh, little circle here and and want to make it uh, work or look like a spotlight on the wallpaper a little bit um, so the first thing that I need to do is here to, to make this because there is no uh, real um, 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 circle tool to, to draw a circle is uh, draw or make a selection so I will make a selection where the uh, circle should be I think this is good I can move this selection with my arrow keys and yeah, I think this one will look pretty good then I can uh, click on filled ellipse but before I do this I need to change the color so I click here on the red um, normally it's red the first color select or can select my color from the palette so let me pick up a cool color from the palette a lighter bluish color this one then click on filled ellipse and it's filled now but this does not look like a spotlight doesn't it so what I need to do is apply an effect to blur the um, that to blur actually this image this uh, circle so I go to effects uh, choose Gaussian blur and I will choose a blurring level of mm, let me see 100 and uh, 220 click apply it will take some time to blur it but you can see the effect immediately then and it looks a lot cooler doesn't it so what I can now do is also change the transparency so I go to my layers um, window and I can change the opacity of the of this um, layer one I need to give it a name spotlight of the spotlight layer so I will change the opacity as you can see this is because show all layers in main window is active uh, is active if we deactivate this you can see we only get the uh, one layer that we selected if you go on background the top layer disappears so this is uh, make sure to mark it so I think this is better to use it this way so I will make an uh, 20 let's make it 28 20 or 30 transparency here 26 this looks I think pretty nice and uh, then I can go to either to the spotlight or to the background or I can also create a new uh, layer let me create a new layer here for example um, and uh, just it again and then I want to paste in a text so I will go to edit paste text free type or you can press the T button on uh, your keyboard it will open up this one here it might um, first render or um, uh, reload the cache of your fonts and then it will open this one here and as you can see I already did in wallpaper so I selected the Ubuntu font here, selected uh, the regular type, I can select a size so let me make this a little bit bigger here 
64 and of course now I can paste the text yeah, it will have a black background this is not what I wanted um, ah edit image I needed to change the channel to edit image now I have a transparent uh, background and red as the color but red is I think not very really cool so I can change this to white this looks much cooler I think place it somewhere near the middle yeah and I think I'm ready now I'm finished so what do I need to do if I want to save this image as you saw this uh, empty paint is not so easy to use uh, file save as won't work because in the save as dialog you have only the option to uh, save one of these layers but not all so what you need to do is go to layers then se select save composite image so this will merge all the layers together and composite them basically and you have then the option to save it as for example wallpaper one and hit ok here it will save the image and now I can close empty paint go to my home directory pictures and here you have it my wallpaper but ah, somehow the text is missing so this did not work out but I already uh, did one wallpaper before you can see it a little bit smaller and in, in, in the font size but you can also set it as desktop background then and I think it looks pretty nice so this is basically how you can create your own wallpaper under Lumbanto 10.10 .10 with the included empty paint and yeah this is everything for this screen guys I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching